this particular house we're going to be looking at in a second is actually one of the first male named houses, <clears throat> although it hasn't been named yet. And then we come to my house. This is the Temple Tantra for the moment. That's what it's being called. And it may have another name by the time it gets to its homestead because everything takes on a new energy when it gets home, different from what it has when it's coming into life. This is a very unusual gypsy wagon style in a very large, large version of gypsy wagon. And this is what I'm going to live in. So it's also a little unique in that I put all my best of my best pieces in it. I think you'll agree. It makes for a very eclectic mix. Welcome, come on in. Ah, this is a piece that's going to be going in. Not sure where yet, but it's a beautiful little library piece. Gives me a little place to go ahead and write letters and to store stuff. And when you have a house this small, every piece counts. So this lead up about two square feet of my floor, and I have 230 square feet, including my porches, for my total house to sit on. Ah, from India. This is a nice piece. It actually has a space we're going to have for hanging stuff. And then down below, more storage, a little secret compartment over here that's not so secret anymore, now that you've seen this. And then some pieces like this where this is the step sticking out, which is actually a piece of the bark on that step. Burl pine, a lot of detailing in these old houses. As you come into my living room, you'll notice that I have a teeny bit of space. This, while it's not in the right position right now, it's going to be the table. Be able to go ahead and have breakfast on that. There'll be a little fireplace in the corner over here. And as you walk around through my living room, you come to my kitchen. My kitchen also is not very big. This is part of my kitchen cabinet door. Very nice piece right here. I think you can see it with the light from that angle. This is a piece from India, just like the other piece. And it kind of makes up the outside of my staircasing. And one of my favorite columns I ever had, only had one, never could figure out how to use it. And then lo and behold, I decided to build myself this house. The kitchen area actually will go around over here where the back will be just a wall, but then over here there'll be a sink. And this opens up to the back porch. And over here I can have a little stove, add extra heat if I want. This is another panel that's going to be going into the back wall. I have a matched pair of these. And that'll be in the shower wall. Um, the back porch is actually going to be screen. So it counts as a screen back porch, but it's also going to function as a bathroom. And the piece that's the countertop for here turned out to be a piece I found that we had in stock of Cypress. One single piece countertop actually fits within four inches. This is going to be my bathroom. And the bathroom on this one, I have a sink in here, a little commode area back in here, but also shower. So you actually have a shower, commode, sink, and a sitting area. And this will be screened in, but it also has glass inserts. So in the right season, you need to heat it or cool it. You just put in your glass inserts and you're back to having a closed in porch. But still, it's only 230 square feet. So my bathroom down here, now I have a half bath upstairs. This is just for the downstairs. Now, this has two big issues on two big um, features. This is the stairs going up. This is my seven pack of cast iron Trojans. Trojan steps used for, as we understand it, uh, fire trucks. So the Trojan ladders were part of the Trojan fire trucks and uh, pretty rare. But I thought it was appropriate for a Tantra temple to have cast iron Trojans. This is a door that goes into a little compartment down below that actually has some air conditioning as well as a little trap door to get in and out if I wanted to. And now I'm going to go ahead and go up. You'll get a kind of idea what this is built like. These are all slabs of mesquite and live oak and different materials going up, including black walnut. And they form the free, kind of a free form edge on the, on the stairs. This is my upstairs den or living area. It includes my desk, which you're looking at the side of. And the interior of the desk is a, it's a piece I kept for probably 15, 17, maybe 18 years waiting for the right thing to come along. The sides of the windows with the stained glass below, this is, I think, a Macintosh piece, who is a Scottish architect and also did stained glass. And this is stuff that uses a glass that has red, which makes the gold. Red uh, gold in the red, excuse me, in the, in the glass makes red. 
and different jewels, but it's a unique piece. I re rebuilt it and cleaned it all up, and it's my favorite in the whole place. On each side of it, the bottom of these columns you see are part of a Catholic confessional. And they go all the way up to the top of these cute little tops. It's a little hard to see in this light, possibly. Along with these side pieces, which are all out of the confessional. And the rest of it is what comprises the closet behind us over here. The glass is from India. This is actually um, from uh, uh, with teak. And then all pressed antique glass, probably over 120, 140 years old. Amazing stuff. Um, even though it's got a break in, I'd rather keep this than replace it with something else because it's part of the original set that came with it. Each of the pieces in this house are very special to me. Now this opens up to help give us our light, but also our airflow, especially when the other one's open, which it's not right now. There's going to be a little half bath over here. And in the half bath, that's all at the desk you're looking at there. This desk is actually going to have a little seat in front of it where I'll be able to sit sort of in a meditation cross-legged fashion and do everything at a much lower level than normal and have a kind of a sit down low desk. And I expect to add a few more shelves as well. On this side over here, we actually have my half bath. Um, some people may recognize this, but you have to be a little older. This actually has a flushing element that flushes underneath this area. And then there's a little thing out the side. This is a little piece of um, tubing where you have a rinser. This in the old days, we went to the dentist and you sprayed the water in your mouth and you spit it out into here. And this controlled the water being turned on and off and this controlled the pressure of this little sprayer. This is a beautiful mint green color. Actually, um, beautiful piece. Uh, I'm going to keep it in here for my nighttime upstairs half bath. And the shelves over here, there'll be a shaving, a little shaving mirror. And in fact, uh, it'll be pretty much a half bath. And if I want to, I can have this be my throne. This is actually an Oddfellow throne. Ah, yes. And uh, this can be a throne too. I can actually have the seat come up so it can be a throne of another sort. But the idea is that you have a place where you can do lots of different things, including getting dressed. Multifunctional chair. Um, I have another house I'm doing that I actually want to use one of these in it too. And we'll see that in the, um, in the house across the way. The Vesper Casa. This is one of a, a pair of uh, um, cases. The other one is on the other side of the well down to the downstairs. Each of them has their own different type of a, um, baluster on it. And this is using a grapevine that's off the property. The other parts we're using on here, this is a burl pine across the top, a very unusual piece. Probably won't ever see a piece like this hardly in your life unless you're really into wood where all these little nubs of the branches all came off at the same time. And before they had a knot, they were just the ends of them before they disappeared. You only find this if you cut this slice just right. If you're an inch away, you won't see that. Very unusual. As you walk over here, you'll see these beautiful little top of that. That's actually a table leg cut in half. The other case is over here, just like on the other side, the other bookcase, except it has a different newel in it. And then this is the other part of the Catholic confessional. And it'll be the closet over here. And then in here is a bed with all the drawers built into the bottom of it. And it'll actually hang from the ceiling so that I can go ahead and have a floating bed. Um, this gap actually over here in the wall is because there'll be a meditation chair dangling from right here. So to be able to sit in a meditation chair floating to be able to meditate and the top will be connected to this cable over here, um, which goes up to the roof and the bottom will be connected to a cable down deep in the ground. And you get to be the spark gap in the middle while you're meditating. So you'll be right in here someplace, somewhere right in here, except dangling out in there. If you want a snack? We'll have a little snack table right there. And this is where you'll be able to just meditate and, and be able to rotate or be able to just sit on a beautiful day and appreciate the colors. So this is the Temple Tantra upstairs, master bedroom, den, sitting area, library, downstairs living room, kitchen, bath, half bath, and Pretty much designed to last lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Oh, also, I didn't mention, but if I should ever want, the house is actually made so that I can come in here and unbolt and separate the whole top from the bottom by literally only taking nine bolts out. We've got to make really sure we mark where those bolts are, though. 
But in the end, this can all be lifted up if we want. We may have to take some trim off and stuff because we built it not intending to do that. We're going to move this in one piece. The tallest house I've ever built. Alrighty, that's the Temple Tantra. Maybe one day known as the Ark of Wub. For the moment, it's almost done. Within the next two weeks, I hope to move it and begin the Tantra village. First of the villages in the Thai and Texas territories. Thank you.